Suele volumen Conversation with the people who were with me In the world TV Carlos tonight Carlos tonight Historias de un reportero Hey everybody, welcome to the podcast. Thanks so much for watching and for listening. I really appreciate that. Before we get things started, I want to invite you to check out carlostonight.com. There you can find the latest on the podcast, the upcoming guests, and check out past episodes. That's carlostonight.com. My guest this week is helping a lot of people not only uh, you know look better, but also feel better. And I'm happy and excited to introduce you to Aaron Sanchez, all the way from Las Vegas, How's it going? Good. How you doing? I'm great. Aaron, um, before we get things started, um, how is Las Vegas? How's the weather? Oh, it's beautiful. Like, like I said, I just flew in. We were talking earlier. I flew in from Minnesota uh, five days ago. It was 19 degrees and snowing. So this is suntan weather down here. I think it's in the 50s today. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll be in Vegas this spring. And uh, I grew up in Chicago, so I know all about okay. the, the winters. Yeah, um, I'm learning. I'm learning the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, um, I'm excited to talk to you about um, what you do. And so um, go ahead and share with us, uh, you know, what the company is, what you guys do and how long you've been doing it. OK, sure. Uh, so my company is Alpha Micropigmentation. Um, and what we do is scalp micropigmentation. So it's in the uh, paramedical tattoo field. Um, so we can what we're essentially doing is we're implanting uh, specially designed pigments into the scalp, like right at the top dermal layer to replicate the look of hair follicles. So, um, I mean, the, we can do anything from, you know, male pattern baldness, female pattern baldness. We help a lot of people with alopecia. Um, I work with an oncologist in town, um, you know, helping his patients that have lost hair from chemotherapy or have scars on their head from a tumor removal, things like that. Um, it's really evolved since when I started. Uh, so yeah, to answer your question, I've been doing it about nine years. Um, when we first started, it was pretty rudimentary. We were using little tiny, uh, tattoo needles and tattoo machines. And now the, the industry has blown up and evolved to where we have all our own specialized pigment and, uh, machines and needles and all kinds of fun stuff. Wow. So my first question is like, that pops into my head while you're talking is, does uh, it hurt? Yeah, you know what, that's actually uh, one of our frequently asked questions. So, you know, as opposed to a traditional tattoo, we're really shallow in the skin. So like I said earlier, we're right in that top uh, dermal layer. Um, traditional tattoos are about three, four layers down. Um, so, you know, I tell people it's, it's annoying, you know, I'm poking you over, over and over again. Um, but, you know, there's no bleeding, there's no scabbing. A lot of people fell asleep or fall asleep while I'm working on them. Or, you know, we've got tattoos in the room. We're just, or, I'm sorry, TVs in the room where we're just watching movies and mm -hmm. hanging out. I fell asleep during mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, and I know that you said a lot of people go um, like for after like chemotherapy and stuff like that. But, uh -huh. um, with, who, uh, with um, folks who are experiencing like maybe thinning or, uh, you know, baldness runs in their family, at what age um, should they come see you or what stage of their life should they come see you when they're in their 20s, when they see, you know, their hair falling or? You know, um, it's really got, it runs the spectrum. You know, I've, I had a client that was 19 years old that was already 60% bald. Uh, he was a college student down here in Vegas at UNLV. Um, and you know, I've done guys that are 75 years old. So that's kind of, I guess your window looking at, it's really for anybody. Yeah. Um, and so how long does it take, um, to do the procedure? So it's done in sessions. Um, 99.999% of the time I'm done in three sessions. Each session is about two and a half to three hours. Um, and the sessions are scheduled seven days apart. Um, so we need, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, this is only six hours of work. I've sat for an eight hour tattoo before. Why can't we just do this in one day? Um, and the answer to that is because, again, we're so shallow in the dermal layer. If we get these impressions too close to one another while they're uh, still wet, you know, they'll we, it's called migrating. They attract to each other and everything looks really muddy. So that's why we have to do it in sessions to let them heal, uh, give them that kind of time. And so um, what made you do it in the first place? Uh, what made me get it? 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, I was a guinea pig, actually. Really? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, my ex-partner and I, she was doing hair and makeup for a long, long time. Um, and she brought this home and said, hey, I found this thing uh, where you can tattoo hair on people's head. And I, I kind of laughed it off and thought it sounded pretty silly. Um, and then I saw her working and practicing, uh, you know, with the equipment and I said, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe how real this looks. Um, you know, so I've always been an artist and love to draw and paint. So I picked it up right away and started messing with it and, uh, you know, made the decision. This is something we need to jump on. So, yeah, I was her guinea pig. I was the very first one she ever did. So, yeah, that was nine years ago. <laughs> wow. And I was going to ask you, does it um, last forever or is it kind of like a tattoo where it kind of fades away? Yeah, so that's a good question. Yeah, so they're semi permanent uh, by design. Um, And by semi permanent, you know, you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 15 years out of a procedure. Uh, You know, a lot of it depends on lifestyle choices, you know, where we live, you know, so down here in Vegas, um, you know, I tell my clients, you're looking at probably 10 to 13 years just by virtue of where we live, you know, we're always under the sun, we're sweating. We're at the lake and pools and stuff like that, um, you know, versus somebody up in Minnesota, you know, where the, the climate's a lot more moderate, you know, they might get a little bit longer out of it. Um, excuse me. And also, you know, your lifestyle. Are you a guy that's outside digging ditches all day in the sun doing construction? You know, you're going to be sweating a lot. Those kind of things will factor into it as well versus, you know, a guy that's sitting in a cubicle all day. You know? mm-hmm. um, I met a guy uh, a couple of years ago. And I remember saying to him, I'm like, you know, where do you get your haircut? And he was just like, oh, I, I don't have hair. And I was like, what do <laughs> you mean you don't have hair? And so he yeah. kind of, he bent over and then like, I touched it and, I, and it was, it looked like exactly what you have. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. is so cool. I'm pretty bald too, man. That's all tattoo. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. Cool. Yep. So do you like, you don't shampoo or anything, do you? No, no, it's just, you know, body wash. I throw up there when I'm taking a shower. Um, that's one of the great things about this procedure is there's really not a lot of long-term maintenance. Um, you know, common sense tattoo care. I tell people if you're going to be in the sun, put some sunscreen on or wear some head cover if you're going to be out there for a long time. But, you know, there's no maintenance. There's no upkeep, um, you know, as as compared to the other options for hair loss, which are, you know, your hair pieces, your hair units, hair transplants. I mean, it's uh, constant work with those things. So. It's really, really easy, really low maintenance. I was uh, watching a a TikTok video uh, on what we're talking about, uh, and I I liked it, and now that's all I see. Oh, you (laughs) see it all the time? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So when I was on Facebook, uh, your your message popped up, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to invite him on the show and see uh, if we could talk about this. That's cool. So are your clients mostly like young people or um, older people? You know, I'd say... You know, if I had to put an average on it, I'd say probably, you know, mid 30s to mid to late 40s is probably about my average. But again, I mean, I get them 19 is really young. I've only had one of those, but, you know, I get them up into the 60s and 70s. Um, And then, you know, a lot lot of people that are dealing with cancer that are younger have, you know, tumor removals or not even a tumor removal, but an injury scar or something on their head they want covered up or alopecia affects a lot of people that are younger. But yeah, I'd say by and large, probably 80% of my clients fall in that 35 to 45 year range. And um, since you've done it, how does it feel um, after you've got it done and and people see, you know, the end result? You know what? It's I I've always been a pretty confident guy and I'm really tall. So people don't usually see the top of my head. (laughs) Um, And so funny story, I never realized how bald I was or how thinning my hair was until, um, you know, I was working, I ran bars and nightclubs for a long time here in Vegas. So I'm standing behind one of my bars one night, it's the graveyard shift, nobody's in the bar. um, And I look up at our security camera, and I see someone standing behind my bar, my heart starts pounding, I'm thinking I'm getting robbed. So I turn around, nobody's there. And I look again and it's me. And the reason I didn't think it was me is because there was this giant bald spot on this guy's head. And I'm like, no way, that's not me. (laughs) So yeah, the next day I'm out, I bought a hat the next day. And I mean, I went for consultations for hair transplants. I was using the topic fibers, you know, that you you dump on your head and the the scalp uh, dyes. I did all of it. Um, So yeah, going back to what I said, I was always a really confident guy and stuff never, but that just hit me. I don't know why it did. It just hit me. I was always worried about who's standing behind me in line or if we go to the movies, who's sitting behind me, they're going to see my bald spot. Um, yeah. 
and yeah, once I got this done, it was, I mean, I don't even think about that anymore. It's not even a thought that never pops into my head. I just go out. I don't have to worry about what I'm doing with my hair or wearing a hat or anything. It's, it's very uh, liberating <laughs> for sure. I bet, yeah, I bet. yeah. So um, if somebody's like balding, do you, uh, when, when you do the procedure, is it just that one spot or do you do it throughout the whole hair, the head? Yeah. So, I mean, where you were doing, you know, so like for me, I, I was sitting down to about like right here. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to fade down about a half inch, uh, whoops, I'm backwards on the camera here, uh, down mm -hmm. into the hairline. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're doing that whole area. So that gives you, you know, kind of license for the, the procedure to age with you. Um, so yeah, we just don't do the, the bald spot because you're going to thin some more. Um, and then you don't want to see like that line of demarcation where I just stopped the work. So we blend it into your native hair, uh, so it can age with you. Um, um but yeah, so you, to, oh, go ahead. I was talking to my sister about this and, um, the, the one thing that, um, that I was thinking about is, you know, that you would do like just that one spot and mm -hmm. then like kind of what you were talking about when you get older and then the rest of your hair falls off, do you still have that little patch of hair and everything yeah. else is gone? <laughs> Yeah, so um, so this kind of goes back into the the lifespan and why we make these things semi permanent. Uh, because we don't want you to be, you know, you come in and see me when you're 40. I don't want you to have something on your head when you're in your 60s that doesn't look natural anymore and doesn't match you. So um, yeah, we do blend in your native hair, so you it will age with you. If you lose a little bit more hair, there's still work in there in your hair that blends in, so it's always going to look good. Um, you know, eventually it'll just get lighter and lighter and and go away. Um, and that way you can adjust it as you age and. You know, we can kind of customize it to you again. Are there any side effects or any uh, any bad parts about doing all this? No. Um, you know, the pigments that we use are all natural. Um, they're all organic. Most of it's stuff that's already in your body anyway. Um, you know, I one of the two pigments I use as a carbon base. Um, you know, we we're all carbon based life forms. We all got carbon in our body, uh, sterilized water, um, vegetable glycerin and um, our healing agent is aqua hemimelis or, or witch hazel, which is organic also. So hypoallergenic, it's nothing anyone's going to be allergic to. There's no side effects. Um, the downtime is very, very minimal, um, super easy, you know, again, as compared to a traditional tattoo. Mm -hmm. So if you um, say you're trying to uh, cover up a spot, um, do you have to um, shave the rest of your hair or no? No, no, that's actually a question we get a lot too. Um, it's a case by case basis. So some people, um, you know, like me, that was my, <laughs> when I was the guinea pig, I said, I don't want to shave my head down. And then the, you know, the guy that was uh, training my ex-partner, she, he said, yeah, you don't, you don't have a choice, man, you're too thin. So yeah, it gets to a point where um, you get so thin, there's just nothing we can do. It just looks like we're changing the color of your scalp and you've got some strands up there. So, uh, but yeah, I just actually finished a gentleman who was just a little bit thin and, you know, we can add density to your hair and make it look like you got a full head of hair again. Um, it just kind of depends on where you are on that thinning scale. And I bet but for you don't, you don't necessarily have to shave. Oh, okay. I bet for a lot of your clients, uh, they look a lot younger than when they came in. So that... the, yeah, they do. It knocks 10 years off of you right off the bat. And when I had mine done, I looked in the mirror after my last session. I was like, why, why did I wait so long to do this? And I was looking at my before pictures, like, what was I hanging on to? This is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, it knocks 10 years off you right off the bat. That's, that's probably one of my favorite things about doing this is uh, showing my clients their before and after, you know, because while we're doing this, it's a transition. So they see the slow progress. Um, but when you show them that before and after picture, it's really that wow moment. We're like, I can't believe how young I look again. Yeah. Yeah. And um, once you do that first procedure, uh, there's no turning back, right? Um, well, there is, you know, so th I'm, I take a really conservative approach. You know, there, this is a kind of a back and forth in our industry. There's some clients that like to go all in on the first session. So their client has something to look at when they're done and they can go home and look in the mirror and be like, wow, this thing is really working. Uh, you know, I'm uh, in the other school of thought um, where I take a really conservative approach. So I start really light and really sparse with my procedures. Um, you know, I can put the same pigment in 10 different people. It's going to heal 10 different shades, um, you know, not drastically, but enough that me as the artist is going to notice it. So if I look at a guy and say, you know, hypothetically, this guy's going to be a medium color. He comes back and it healed dark. There's nothing I can really do about it. I can always go darker. I can't go lighter. I mean, we can get it out, but it's it's painful. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if, if for some reason it got, you know, I've never had this happen before, knock on wood. Um, 
if some reason we, you know, we did a first session and you hated it, I mean, laser removal is always an option. It, it comes out really easy with laser removal. Mm. It's probably yeah. painful, right? <laughs> It is, yeah. On a one to ten, it's an eleven. <laughs> it's a lot pain, a lot more painful getting it out than it is putting it in, for sure. So, tell me, uh, where can people um, uh, find you and, and get uh, like a consultation? Um, sure. So, uh, my website is alpha micropigmentation.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook under Alpha Micropigmentation, Instagram under Alpha Micropigmentation. Um, you can contact me through uh, any of those avenues. Um, I can, I prefer to do consults in person, but I can always do them virtually, you know, via zoom or something like that. And where's, uh, where are you located? Uh, to, to so I've got an office in here in Las Vegas and we just opened a second office, uh, up in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Um, we're actually right on the river in Hudson. Um, and then I'm eyeballing a third one down in Dallas. Oh, okay. And that's where I am. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, are you You're in, Dallas? Yeah, you're in Dallas? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Um, I was just down in uh, Colleen training a student. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. A little south of you, I think. Awesome. And do people um, like reach out to you on like social and then do they ever like fly to you and, and do the, the work? I, um, yeah. So, uh, well, especially during COVID, I was very, very fortunate. Um, I was one of the few people in the country that were still working uh, because I work with an oncologist, a, a cancer doctor in Vegas. So um, they shut us down as, as not essential. He called me and said, hey, I'm sending a patient to you. Uh, we did a tumor removal about a year ago. She needs a scar filled in. And I said, doc, I'm, I'm closed. I'm shut down. And he's like, oh, I, I didn't even think about that. So he says, let me call you back later and uh, uh, maybe we can set something up for down the road. So my phone rings that night at dinner and it's him. And he says, hey, I talked to uh, the gal at the health department. Uh, and she's, I told her, you're essential to my practice. You're essential to the recovery of my patients. So you're good. You can work under me. So I was really fortunate. I got to work during oh, wow. COVID. And yeah, during that time, I had people, I had a guy flying from Texas, from Idaho, from Utah. They were coming in from all over. Um, but yeah, even outside of COVID, yeah, people will fly in to see me. By the way, is that Madonna in your shirt? Uh, Dolly Parton. <laughs> oh, Dolly, okay. My mom, Dolly my mom was a big Dolly Parton fan. It's uh, so it's kind of a relic of my childhood. Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, so I think the, the big question is on everyone's mind is how much does this all cost? Uh, so average is 2,500 to 3000, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, that's for the full procedure. Uh, I guarantee my work for five years. So if anything happens during that time where, you know, it's fading or looking soft or, you know, anything you're unhappy with, you know, my clients can just call me and I'll take care of it for them. Um, and that's also for the procedure. So it's not by session. Some people say, well, what if I need extra sessions, which is very rare, but hypothetically speaking, I mean, this would never happen, but someone needed 10 sessions to get this thing done. They, they never pay more and that's all they pay. Mm -hmm. So, um, one question that comes up in terms of our price is, you know, why is this so much more expensive than, you know, a traditional tattoo of, of comparable size? Um, you know, our inks are a lot more expensive. The needles that we use are more expensive. Um, you know, our education is really expensive uh, to learn how to do this. Um, and again, you got to kind of frame it in terms of what else is available out there. OK, you can go get a hair transplant and you're in for about 19 grand. Um, you can go get a, a hair system or a hair unit and you're looking at about anywhere from four to five thousand a year in maintenance for a decent one. So, um, you know, it's instant results. It, it looks a lot better than a hair transplant, in my opinion. But, and, and there's no upkeep, no scarring, no, no nothing like that. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Cool. Yeah. And do they um, is there like payment plans or do you just pay all up front? Yeah, I mean, most people pay up front. You know, I, I typically charge them after the first session, uh, but I do work with a couple different finance companies. So if you're looking for like a long term payment option, uh, I've got multiple options available. Uh, and, you know, if a client wanted to break it up and pay per session, you know, a lot of people are, you know, a little bit nervous about getting this done and what the results are going to be. So I understand that. So if they want to pay by session, I'll usually let them do that, too. Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, it looks great and uh, it makes you. you feel, you know, better about yourself, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I definitely feel younger, look younger. <laughs> That's awesome. And we all want that, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure.
Well, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, good luck with everything. And thanks for being here. God bless you. All right. Thanks for having me. And that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. And remember, check out carlostonight.com for the very latest on the podcast, the upcoming guests, and check out past episodes. That's carlostonight.com. Historias de un reportero. <laughs>